Right, it's actually been a while since the last time I saw you. We were supposed to be coming back um, for the semi-finals, which we have come back for the semi-finals, but they completely changed the league around a little bit. So, we ended up with a... Where did we finish off last time? I think we... Yes, yeah, so we had a 3-0 win against Magpies. All three goals from Christian Gazi, which we'll discuss in a minute. 4-0 win over Mons Kalp. We got a 2-1 win over Europa Lair FC. And then a 2-0 win in the league against Lincoln Red Imps as well. Today... We've got Lincoln Red Imps in the Bright Stars Trophy semi-final and Europa FC in the Rock Cup semi-final. But, as you may have noticed, we are in February now, so we have finished the transfer window and it was a very, very busy transfer window for us. So first of all, let's have a look at the outs. Now, we did have quite a lot of outs. We're going to start up here. So we let Ryan Sears leave on a free transfer. We're not really using him that much this season at all, so it was worth just letting him leave just to get him off the wage budget. And then we also had Christian Gazi, the player I was just talking about, scored a hat-trick. And then Juventus came in for him. I mean, I'm disappointed to sell him. Uh, we sold him in the end for 1.5k. However, we have got, again, a 50% sell-on fee, so it's a good opportunity. We signed Pablo Barreto on a free transfer, and then instantly Lincoln Redimps came in and asked for him on loan. So he's gone out to them on loan. We uh, then had Danny Fernandez had an offer in from Al... Wow, he's worth a million quid now. Bugger off, mate. They paid 18.25. Again, we've got a 50% sell-on fee on that anyway. So uh, if they do sell him, then fantastic. Anton Lubnenov. I don't know why Liverpool brought this guy. I really don't. He's not even good enough for us. Liverpool came in and brought him. Again, it's only 25k, but we got a 50% sell-on fee. So you never know. Again, Juventus came in for Junior Beasley, which is a bit odd because it's not one that I would really expect them to want. But again, we sold him, 50% sell-on fee. I'm happy enough. Um, we let uh, Dominic Gardner went to Europa FC. Um, I'd, I've said about Dominic Gardner, I like him. I would have kept him, but to be honest, I felt like we weren't really using him and it was probably better for the nation to have him playing first-team football elsewhere. Sam Surridge got sold to Stoke for four... Well, he's worth 2.3 million. What? Well, we sold him for 40k. We've got a 50% sell-on fee on there again, so if he does move. Uh, Jerome Pitaluga went on loan to Lincoln Red Imps. Uh, and then uh, Glasses, who are bottom of the table, came in and took Eunice Arab, Warren Blair, and Lee Smith all on loan. So that was pretty good for us as well. Now, to replace the players we'd sell, we have brought... Of course, we know about Pablo Barreto. I just spoke about him a second ago. We've got three new players in. So, first of all, we've got Kondwani Singuluma um, from... Well, he's from Zambia. We've got him from his Zambian club, Zanaco. Uh, he looks pretty decent. Got some good potential. Uh, God knows how the uh, the scout actually found him. I've got no idea. I think it was uh, some sort of international under-20s tournament or something like that he was scouting. Um, but that was interesting. Uh, 50k for this guy, Chao Cesar. Now, this was my replacement for Danny Fernandez. Can play left back and right back and looks very, very good as well with a great potential. And finally, we brought in Jesus Gonzalez. The scout said he was pretty good. He doesn't have a great current ability, but potential wise, he could be pretty useful. So that's what we got so far. And now we're ready then to take on Lincoln Redimps in the Bright Stars Trophy semi finals. Let's get straight into the game. It's already set up to go. I'm good like that. I'm ahead of myself and everything. Right. Let's have a look then. We're going to tell them that we uh, want them to go out there and... Oh, that wasn't very good. We want them to go out there and continue the way they've been going. Cause it's been fantastic this season. Not... Well, we won every single domestic game. Every game, which is fantastic. So it's been very, very good for us so far. If we win both these games in this video, we will have two finals to look forward to at the end of the season. And there's another game in the next video where we'll have another final. I know as well our Sporting Lisbon game has been confirmed as having uh, or being on TV, which is fantastic. It's going to get us some extra money. Nice bit of TV deal. Come on, so it's nil no at half time. We've had 82% possession and five shots that I didn't get a chance. I think this mouse is playing up. I've got a new mouse to change it to, so I'm going to do that, I think, today. 
because I'm sure this mouse is playing up. Sometimes it double clicks and I end up just going miles and miles away from where I want to be. Diamande, middle of the pitch to Carl Caesar. Taylor, big ball over the top, finding Hlozek. Big ball in, looking for Kavanagh. There we go, Matt Kavanagh, 55 minutes in. Heads it into the back of the net, and that makes it 1-0. Fan dabby dozy, exactly what we wanted. We're in the lead. I'm, I'm wondering now, you know, whether... I mean, if we beat Lincoln Redimps, so are we going to get Europa FC in the final? And vice versa with the next game. If we beat uh, Europa FC in the final, in the semi-finals of the uh, Rock Cup, are we going to end up with Redimps in the final? It seems to be a very free team nation at the moment, but we're sort of hoping that we can help some of the other nations, uh, some of the other teams get stronger as well. And I think that is happening now because we're loaning a lot of players out now that are much better than the players in the actual league. So that hopefully should be pretty good. Is Pope to Dean? Dean's gonna keep playing forward with it. Be nice to get a second goal here. Here's Sirigar, who's been fantastic so far, scoring so many goals from defensive midfield, and there's another one. Way and Sirigar with another goal, rocketed in the top corner. That is amazing. I'm very impressed with that. Very impressed. Let's see the goal. Dean comes running down the line, plays it to Sirigar. Who just wallops it right in the top corner. That's just outstanding. It really is outstanding. Right then. 80 minutes in. Let's bring on a couple of subs. Why not? Let's bring on Nick Campbell, Lean... Why has this been mixed up? Let's also bring on Dan Martin. And let's bring on Darren Jenkins. Like a triple substitution for people that need a bit of first team football, get their match fitness up ready. I'm looking forward to these games against Sporting. That'll be next episode we'll get our first leg against Sporting. Right, there we go. Sirigal with another man of the match. He's just been outstanding so far. He really has. He's uh, what's it? He scored five goals in seven games, I suppose it is now. He's had three man of the matches, an average rate of 8.32. He's just been outstanding. He really has. But there we go. Right. Very happy the way this has gone. And we are into the final of the Bright Stars Trophy. Now can we reach the Rock Cup final as well? And here we go, though. Here we, here we go, though. Here we go, then. That's the words I'm looking for. Right, very strong team once again. Thomas Martino sets up in goal. We've got James Dean continuing on at left back. In the middle, we have Mark Pope lining up alongside David Taylor. With Chow Cesar at right back. It's been a very, very good addition to our team so far. We've got Diamande playing alongside... Wayan Sirigar, the man who's just scoring goals for fun for the club. And then we've got Matt Kavanagh playing attacking left midfield. We've got George Martin playing Cam. We have got Adam Hlozek playing attacking right midfield. And then up front, making his first start for the club, we're going to have Kondwani Singaluma, the Zambian striker. So... Let's tell them that we believe that we should be in the final. Let's go out there and make it happen. Let's see if we can get ourselves a second final. We have an opportunity 11 minutes in. Chao Cesar is Taylor. Come on, lads. Here's Rosa. Running into the box. He's been taken down. Diamande's given a penalty. Ah, oh, Diamande. You're better than this, Diamande. 
you are better than this. Rosa with a penalty slams it into the back of the net. We have conceded. It's been a while since we conceded a goal, actually. Our defence has been really, really solid. See a highlight of the penalty. It was a good penalty. Slammed right in the bottom corner. Now we need to come from behind if we want to get to the final of this one. I really want to come on and win the uh, the quad here, the, the domestic quad this season. That'd be an amazing, amazing time. Ciao, Cesar. Diamanda, here's Taylor. Gardner's nicked it. Oh, Dominic Gardner. The man we sold in January. Spuffs it. Spuffs it good and proper. It's not good so far, is it? Not good. We're dominating possession, but it's not good at all. We're going to go for a more positive style. We're going to start pushing further, further forward if we can. Ray, big ball, finding Pope. Here's Dean. Diamanda, here's Martin. Back to Pope. Dean, back to Diamande. Come on, lads. We need to be back in this. We need the win. We want to get into this final so badly. We should get our Youth Academy uh, graduates through pretty soon as well. That'd be nice. Hopefully we get some good ones this season. We've had a couple of dodgy years with them, haven't we? Right, that's not good at all. Um, let's say assertively that where's the passion, lads? Are you even want to win this game? It's not good. Right, 55 minutes in. I think we're going to have to make some changes because it's not working, is it, at the moment? Not working at all. What do we change here, though? What do we change? Do we go all out? I think we go all out here, you know. We're going to take off Dean and bring on Fitzwater and go to three at the back. We're going to take off Caesar and we're going to bring on Schubert and have two up front. That is very aggressive, very, very aggressive. Come on, come on. Do something. Wow, still nothing's happening. There's Jenkins to come on then. Um, if Klozek's playing alright, it's Kavada who's not. Can I switch them around? Can Klozek play that side? He can. It's not fantastic, but let's bring on... What the hell's happening here? Darren Jenkins on for Kavana. Across to that side. Tell you what, yeah, let's just have three up front. What does Jenkins do? Can he play Cam? He can play Cam. It's not his favoured position, but... We've just got to go for it now, haven't we? We've just got to go for it. Oh, come on! Don't lose! Very attacking. We've gone all out now. I'm going to be so disappointed if we lose this. Come on, get the equaliser. Come on. There's a chance still. There's a big chance still here.
That's amazing. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> I was so de desperately needed that. Desperately, desperately needed that. Oh my word. Freaking notice it was this allowed. Well, that's disappointing. Um, that's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. So, we're out of the Rock Cup. We're not going to win the quad this season. You're not good enough today. I'm so annoyed with that. I'm really, really annoyed with that. Really, really annoyed with that. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, that is it for today, isn't it, I suppose? We'll come back next time. We'll play off against Magpies before the first leg of the Sport in Lisbon game. I've been Chevy Game Effect Midwatching. I'll see you next time. Bye.